Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Audi A7, then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre TDI V6 S Line Sportback Tiptronic Quattro. 2013 on a 13 plate, has done 104,409 miles. Fuel economy, urban 39.2 miles per gallon, extra urban 54.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 47.9 miles per gallon has a top speed of 155 miles per hour out of a 242 brake horsepower six cylinder 24 valve engine. Diamond cut, piano black, multi-spoke alloy, wheels kind of a, a wide design spoke, uh, or wide design shaped spoke, that's better. This little aerodynamic um, extension on the sill. Daytona grey metallic I think it is. Um, Milano leather, lo lovely car, drives fantastic too. We've got high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, a little chin spoiler there at the front, all important Quattro badge. Rear privacy glass and uh, if you see there, there's frameless doors or frameless windows. The black window surrounds, same on the back there, frameless, nice sloping back. There's the rear spoiler which deploys at speed or the touch of a button from inside the cabin. There you go, power open, power closed tailgate, bags of room in the back there, it sweeps right the way back. I mean, it's, it's a struggle to touch the back seat there. And then there's this hard rear load cover and the other part of the rear load cover comes down off the tailgate so it makes it once you've opened the tailgate it's easy to load your shop in your suitcase and whatever you you don't have to put a roller blind back it's, it's a good design uh, aluminium trim there stop your scuff in the back um this has also got a, the rear load liner too it's a it's a hard plastic rear load liner stop you messing the carpet up there's the button to close it Your rear parking sensors there and twin chrome exhaust tips. I'll just show you the spoiler. So there you go. I don't know how much effect it actually has on the wind flow, but also actually another good design here, the high level brake lamp. And again, it's a little spoiler that's designed to keep your back window clean. So these uh, aerodynamic designs these days, low drag coefficients, I'm sure they're going to result in people getting smaller or, or just just having a bandage on the head all the time. But it, actually, it's uh, this is nice and comfortable. The, the seats are really high at the back, really high. Uh, the, the headrests are comfortable. I suppose if I got squashed too far over here, the, the roof is obviously like a concave shape. Uh, but I, I'm fine. Seats are dead, dead comfortable. You've got your own climate controls there for, for the back. Here we've got rear centre armrest. And a little cubby hole there. Not sure what you'd put in it. The ice fix rear child seat uh, anchor points in the back here too. Um, lovely stitching. It, it, nice. I could sit here all day. <laughs> um, it's it's a lovely car. It, it's it, funny. When I was videoing before, um, I heard a car coming and I turned around to see whether they were going past or, or coming on. And uh, I, I saw this chap turning on. He saw me and I saw him clock the camera and then he came and parked right next to me. Fair enough, not my car park. <laughs> nothing, nothing I can do about it. It's a free country. But, uh, but <laughs> so I, I moved my camera and he didn't know more than come and stand 
in the it was directly in line of, of where my camera was. I mean, it, it's it's just it's people these days. I don't know. It's so funny. Anyway. Okay, let's go for a ride. Okay, so that's the Audi key there. Don't need to do anything with it. Just once you're in, foot on the brake, start button. Screen comes out of the dash there. So the service history. Now that's flashing up as a service due, but it's actually been done. So it's just not been uh, reset. Um, right, okay. 21st of 5th, 2014, take team 230, Miles Norwich Audi. 21st of 2nd, 2015, at 35,324 miles. Kingsley Audi, 1st of 8th, 2017 at 52,206 miles, Northwest Blur Motor Works, 3rd of 12th, 2018 at 57,356 miles, Audi approved Hyde, 4th of 12th, 2019 at 69,660 miles, Doncaster Audi, 23rd of 2nd, 2021 at 86,908 miles, Doncaster Audi. Now we'll get going because there's a chap just pulled up on a, a, a really nice motorbike. There you go. Look at that rascal. I think that's uh, an old one. Just trying to see what reg it is. What's the size of that engine? Right, so anyway, we'll get going. As I say, driving the car up here, it, uh, it drives absolutely beautiful. Um, electric seats, I'm just going to adjust them. It's electric memory seats. We'll just get that right, make sure my mirrors are right. Uh, let's just see, turn that over there. Knock that down a bit, just to see the haunches. And then set one. That's it. That's that's it set. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. You've got your cruise control here. The height and reach adjustable lever is just there. You've got your um, the information display in the center between the rev counter on the left and the speedo on the right. In the center, you've got a digital speedo, or you can have a digital speedo. You can change it with this. There you go, go on to service due again. Just change it down and move like so. Lots of sheep on the road today, so we'll just take it easy. Back. You've got cruise control. Cruise control is just there, so by just pressing the end, that switch the cruise control on. Flick the lever up, it increases the speed of the cruise. Knock it down, it decreases. Uh, which one is off? That's off. It is a really nice, comfortable car to drive. Now, we took this car in on Saturday. Um, I just went outside, took a few quick photographs of it, loaded it up to Auto Trader and Car Gurus, and within an hour, um, the phone started ringing. I, I think it was actually Car Gurus who, uh, who supplied the first customer, but these are so popular, and it, it's a price rangey car as well. Good service history. Chap came to see it last night. Um, he's trying to sort out finance, but his his words were 
it looks better in person, doesn't it? Uh, having said that, the car hadn't been cleaned when I took the photographs. So yeah, so so the car, it, I mean, it really, really looks good. Um, it's got a deep shine to it. The, the colours, pretty subtle. Two doggies. We don't want to be uh, doing them any harm. Really speaking, they should all have crash helmets on. As, as with all Quattros, feels very, very sure-footed. Yeah, all clear. Certain death corner. Loads of torque going up the hill. Lovely driving position for me. You've got paddle shift on your steering wheel. If I knock that across like so, I can change down, use it as a manual selector, up like so. Let's drive, I suppose, on sport. Sport there, manual. So you shift between drive and sport, just pull back like so. Drive, sport, back to drive. thuds along. I did notice on the way up here, car's alright at this uh, sort of speed. And, and it's one of the reasons that we do these video test drives and, and a 70 mile round trip well it's eight, it's actually 88 mile i think from uh, coming from the garage and so on and getting back there that trip although it's expensive on fuel these days it gets me to a nice place to photograph the, the vehicles and it also gives me a chance to properly test drive the, the the cars now for instance if i'd have just gone up the road i wouldn't have noticed that there's um, a vibration on the when you're braking probably due to discs, front discs being ever so slightly warped. Don't do it now, fine. But it's just at, at 70 miles an hour from, from braking then. So, car would have gone out, normal road test around town, car would have gone out, customer would have been unhappy. Um, so, we, we do our best, we can't make them better than new, sadly. Well, actually, we may be able to in some cases, but um, we, we, we do do our best to make sure that uh, all the cars, when, when they go out, there's no hidden faults or no faults that we're unaware of anyway. And if there is, we'll fix them. I just, I do like Audis, I prefer Audis to BMWs, and to be fair, I prefer Audis to Mercedes-Benz these days. So, we sell quite a lot. We've got this in and we've got a, an all-road estate, if you're looking for even more room than this. It's a good looking car. It 
voice control there. Switch your navi on there. What does that do? Let's have a look what that does. Congolese people benefited increasing oh. production of electric. That must uh, that must change source. I'm reading a, or listening to a very interesting book called Cobalt Red. And uh, it would seem as much as the electric car people like to tell you that they're all green and everything's honky dory and you save a load of money. Um, it's not quite true. The use of cobalt in batteries is kind of unethical. And then they'll say that, well, you use cobalt in your mobile phone and also in the desulfurization of fuel. It would seem that um, it's a kind of a minuscule amount for the desulfurization of fuel as to what it is for uh, an EV battery. Anyway, time will tell. But at the moment, electric cars are going down like there's no tomorrow. And diesels and petrols, like this vehicle, are holding the value very, very nicely, thank you. So although you'll hear the EV community going on saying, it, oh, but it's cheap, it's cheap to charge. There's no point in it being cheap to charge if it depreciates by £2,000 a month, which a, a 2014 Nissan Leaf has been doing. Wow. Got a bit of a commune going on here. Climate control switches here, CD radio, it's Bluetooth hands-free, uh, Bluetooth audio streaming, your sat nav there, from your controls down here, so radio, media, nav, I click onto nav there, just click it again, I think it should go to map, yep, map, got nice brushed aluminium, and it's nice to see this one, this, if anything, there is a fault with Audis, this very thin, brushed aluminium um, cover on the gear tunnel it's very easy to mark with rings or if you're trying to push yourself out or but that that's pretty good same here all nice Great to drive. Very practical too. Loads of room in the back. I haven't tested the headlamp wash but uh, I mean sometimes these days they use the same bumpers on cars that have headlamp wash and cars that don't uh, and they're just blanked off so we'll assume it's got headlamp wash but um, if that's really important to you make make sure you check with us I'll try and remember to uh, have a look when we get back supposed to be sunny today but it's quite cool up here and um, we're only at quarter past nine in the morning I've already done a day's work
the Audi Quattro. I used to go to the RAC rally to watch the the, the Audi Quattros, the original ones. Gene Genie on <laughs> Life on Mars. Fire up the Quattro. They are. They, I can only assume that mother's saying to the little lamb, now this is what you don't do. Little tail going around like a propeller there. Must be near shearing time. Looks like there's a lot of wool being wasted on this. Uh, it's all over the road. It's like tumbleweed up here now. So on the left hand side as well there, you've got your coolant temperature gauge on the right hand side, your fuel gauge. But, um, if I click along the top there, service to that goes on to telling me what is playing on my audio book or on the radio, onto my phone directory. There's a compass there. And, uh, and back to the digital speedo, that's, that's the one I like to have it set on. Cars like um, Audis and Porsches, We've got somebody said they won't be surprised if uh, I stopped and got out and smashed a, one of my GoPros. <laughs> I'm very close to it. That's the fourth time this has switched off just switched off for no reason it's not too hot I'm going to uh, put the fan on though and, uh, and there's the fan on <coughs> Could probably spoil the audio a bit but I think all the rest of them are on cool that down low low so hopefully that will uh, cool it down a little bit. Four dogs. So the arrow's on the top here. In the centre also, that's showing average miles per gallon. It shows the little arrow up and down, and there's the arrows up and down there. So that's the centre bit of the information display. Average speed, average miles an hour. Time, date. Well, it's the 1st of June today. means I'm getting ever closer to my Sorrento holiday where I'll be driving on all roads like this who 
knows, I might even hire an Alfa Romeo again. Lovely, lovely car to drive. We took it in part exchange. Seemed like a decent guy. looked after his car so I'll pretty much finish the test drive there not a whole lot to say about this car it's just it's just it's just nice it's just it's like new inside it's, it's nice outside it's a couple of stone chips um, I think there's a little ding on one wheel arch which I'm pretty sure our dent man will get but apart from that it's a lovely car so Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.